New concussion rules have been a hot topic this NRL season, with several players taking extended breaks after a few too many head knocks. A revolutionary device has been developed to make brain assessments even easier. The NeuroCheck device by EO is the brain scanner that fits inside a briefcase and it's being trialled by the South Sydney Rabbitohs. For more on this, we're joined by Chief Medical Consultant and former Chief Medical Officer for the NRL, Dr Paul Bloomfield. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. Tell us how this device works. Well, thank you for having us. So the device, the EO NeuroCheck, is basically an EEG device. It has goggles that are similar to VR headsets, and the goggles display a stimulus, which is called a visual evoke potential, which is really a series of flashing lights that is designed to evoke a response in the brain. And if the brain's not functioning properly, it picks that up. And so it measures a change in brain function that is consistent with a potential concussion that will assist doctors um, on the sideline and in their rooms in um, diagnosing concussion. It's come so far, hasn't it, in terms of concussion um, assessment and treatment uh, since your time in the NRL, I'd imagine? New devices um, that are tools uh, to help with the diagnosis of concussion, which remains a clinical one, such as the EO NeuroCheck, are really going to help clinicians tackle this problem, particularly with regards to when players aren't necessarily forthcoming with all the symptoms, which we know can be an issue and an understandable issue, uh, although players are getting better at reporting those things. It's because they're understanding, I guess, the ramifications of it. What are the long-term effects of concussion if not treated properly? Well, concussion is obviously a form of brain injury and the long-term complications are still not completely well understood. So things like dementia are a possibility related to concussion, but that may well be multifactorial, but obviously multiple hits to the head and specifically multiple concussions are not a great thing. So the more tools we have, such as the Neurocheck, to better assess and manage these things, um, are better outcomes for players. How, how will it revolutionise sports safety uh, for, from the sideline and how quickly can it get people back on the field? We do know that if a concussion is missed, um, then the consequences can be more significant with repeated head injuries more likely and also other musculoskeletal injuries more likely due to reduced reaction times and whatnot. So this sort of tool, the uh, NeuroCheck, will help clinicians diagnose concussion return to play decisions more accurately. You're talking about a device then that potentially could maybe continue the longevity of some careers. If concussions are better managed, um, then it is possible uh, that players may have longer careers, but that does depend on individual circumstances, such as their background history, number of concussions they've had. But by the same means, a device such as the Neurocheck, which will, we believe, uh, assist with the diagnosis and also with return to play decisions, thereby making us less reliable on players always being completely honest about their symptoms, which, as I said, they are being more and more so doing that because they are understanding the potential long-term and short-term consequences. So with better management overall of concussion, it may well hopefully prolong players' careers. That's amazing technology. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.